Hi, my name is Ross Wilson. I'm a veterinarian, co-founder and director of PLASVAC and also as Chief Scientific Officer. Today I'm here to talk to you about caniplas and the way the plasma is to be handled and thawed. Obviously the plasma is stored frozen, so we've just removed this plasma from the freezer. Before I go any further, I'd like to mention something about the label. Firstly, this is a registered document with the APVMA. This whole label, the claims that are made on it and the instructions that are given are all dictated by the APVMA. The first thing you need to do is to read this label if you've never used Caniplas before. On it appears uh, the indications for the use of the product, the active constituent, and some important instructions on dosing it and administration and storage. The other thing you need to do is to check that the product has not expired. There is, in the bottom left-hand corner on this label, appear the batch number and expiry date. It's very, very important not to use expired plasma. I'm now going to take the plasma out of the bag, show you the way it needs to be handled, and that is gently, and it's going to be placed into a water bath for thawing. So you open the uh, box from the top and the side and you very gently remove the bag of plasma without bending anything, not even the edges. If you do that, you could uh, rupture the bag. You'll also notice that the plasma is frozen and the transfusion ports are taped to the bag. That is to discourage the handler from touching them until the bag is thawed. Plasma is a very, very, um, plasma bags are very fragile when they are frozen. So they can actually snap off in your hands. So without any further handling, this plasma will go into the water bath. Note also that the bag is labelled as well. It's a condensed label compared to what is on the box, but nevertheless, there are important instructions there for you. And it's made, it's put on so that it's readable when the bag is hanging up for the plasma transfusion. I'll now place the plasma into the water bath. The water bath is water at approximately 35 to 40 degrees centigrade. The aim is to fully thaw the plasma until it reaches body temperature. It's very important not to transfuse cold plasma because that can cause the animal to uh, become hypotensive and may even faint. As well as that, if you transfuse cold plasma, you can also get hemolysis. Very, very important for the plasma to be at body temperature before you start the transfusion. Okay, now our plasma has spent approximately 20 minutes in the water bath. We have added hot water twice to keep the water bath at optimum temperature of 35 to 40 degrees. And now I'm gonna set about drying the plasma and spiking it with the, trans with the giving set.